Hi guys, it's been a really long time since my last video, um, but I've had five minutes today um, while the kids are at daycare, so I thought I would record a little um, video to show you how to do decreases in the back loop only. Um, and this helps you to make your amigurumi stand flat on their own. I hope you enjoy. So in a previous video, I showed you how to um, work decreases in the round. Um, what I want to show you now is there's actually a third way of doing decreases that I've been using recently. And what allows you to do is to create a ridge so that you can put your amigurumi flat. So to do this, you will actually decrease in, in only the back loop. So if you look at your stitches, when you have a single stitch here, you can see that you have the front loop here that's towards you. And there's the back loop. It does a little V on your work. So remember when I was talking about the invisible decrease, you were only taking the front loop. Well, if you do decreases with only using the back loop, what this will help you to do is really create that ridge and have a flat surface. So you insert your hook in that back loop on the first stitch. Then you just pull a loop. Do the same on the second, st second stitch that you want to decrease pull a loop again, and then you can finish a single crochet. And see how this is creating a little ridge with those front loops that are left over from that round. So if I do a couple more, you'll see better that it really does like nicely that little ridge. See, so this is where all those front loops are left over and you have created all your decreases in the back loop so that will help you to create a little ridge and then when you continue crocheting in round um, what will happen is that this will actually be a flat section so that will help you from starting with like a rounded shape to end up on a shape that's quite flat so that you can actually put it down and you don't need any help to um, have it just stand on its own i hope you have enjoyed this video if you've liked it, um, please give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more amigurumi tips and tricks. Thanks. Bye.